So our athlete has a wrist sprain. So what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, tape the wrist and we're gonna do what's called wrist um, neutralization taping, which really means that we're not necessarily trying to get him into any ex uh, kind of wrist extension position or wrist flexion. We really just want it kind of straight. Um, and so we wanna make sure that he's in that position. So just kind of straight up and down. Uh, doesn't necessarily matter if his fingers are spread out. Um, we also we want kind of the palm to be open. Uh, we want the thumb to be um, abducted just a little bit. Um, that's going to provide um, uh, the possess, best position uh, to be able to do the tape. But we're going to be moving his wrist around quite a bit. So, um, but this is a good starting position. We're going to take our uh, pre wrap. We want to just secure uh, or place it. Um, where the tape is gonna be able to go. So we wanna make sure that we cover the hand and then the wrist down to um, probably about just an inch below uh, where kind of the wrist creases. Uh, we wanna make sure that he can actually still uh, make a fist, um, still has functionability with all the fingers, but what's really limited is that extension of the wrist. Um, so kind of a nice way to be able to do this is to just take the pre-wrap and push it right over the thumb that gives us a nice anchor to be able to go around. We take our pre-wrap and we bring it down around the wrist you know, a couple different times and that gives us a nice secure, again, amount of, um, uh, amount of protection uh, from that tape, making sure that it doesn't really you know, kind of bother his wrist. Here again with all of our ankle taping, we're going to uh, use inch and a half uh, linen tape. Uh, this particular uh, tape job also has um, anchors. So we're gonna place, just like we did with the ankle, we're gonna place two anchors down at the wrist, and then we're gonna do one um, anchor down at the hand. So I'm gonna take one piece of tape, secure it around the wrist, right about here, and another piece right at about where the um, uh, wrist does tend to bend. Because uh, this is actually um, provides a little bit of security uh, just right into here because it kind of bunches up and helps hold, um, in, uh, hold into place. Okay, we don't want to do that too terribly tight because we don't necessarily want to cut off any circulation. Now we're going to place an anchor around the hand. This becomes a little bit problematic depending on the size of the hand. If they're really, really small, you actually might need to cut the um, kind of the, the anchor down a little bit. It's fairly easy to do, and we'll do that with him, is we'll take, we'll just tear a little bit of kind of what we call a half strip. And we're gonna give ourselves a little bit of extra tape there, rip that off, and then this is going to go down and secure around the hand. What we don't want to do is we don't want to put our tape directly over his knuckles. If we do, then when he goes to make a fist, um, that's not gonna allow that to be able to happen. So we still, so we can actually test that now, just make sure that he can make a fist and it feels comfortable and okay, and it looks good. Fortunately, when we do that with that piece, the other half really becomes kind of um, uh, not useful anymore. So you'll just have to kind of um, secure that off in place. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn him and turn the palm side up. So that way what we can do is we can create some, we're called X strips, creating a little bit of a fan type of pattern. So what we're going to do is we're gonna secure the, from anchor to anchor. So we're gonna place one piece of tape right here, and we're gonna secure that down to the other anchor, just like that. We're gonna do the same thing making an X, so we're gonna secure right down kind of by the pinky, and we're gonna pull that up to the anchor. And we're gonna do one more, but this time we're gonna go right in the middle. So we're gonna secure down to this anchor and right down there, making a nice fan type pattern. Once that's done, we're gonna flip him over, turning the other direction and we're gonna repeat that on the palmer side. So we're gonna go from one anchor to the other. Pinky side, 
X, from anchor to anchor, and one in the middle. Just like that. Okay. And then we're gonna place him back in that kind of neutral position again. So again, the, the securing pieces are down. Now we just have to um, wrap it up uh, to make sure that none of these pieces come off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do what's called a figure eight um, uh, um, taping piece. The way that we do this is we start and we pull in the direction of flexion, okay? Or in this case, it'd be kind of, you know, more medially, because what that's gonna do is as we come and I circle around his hand, I'm going to angle this into a figure eight right at about where the hand is. Now here again, we don't really wanna go over the knuckles, so sometimes to get around the thumb, I'm gonna pinch a little piece there, making that a little bit thinner, so that way as I secure and come around, this allows me to do that figure eight motion, and I'm gonna continue going around until I end back actually where I started and rip it. Again, I want to make sure that there's no significant wrinkles. I want to make sure it's nice and flat and secure. Make sure that he can again still make a fist and that's going to help again prevent any type of excessive flexion or extension and keeps him in a nice neutral position. Check for any major circulation issues, otherwise he's good to go.